I played the characters of Eugenia and Georgina. My roles are Violet and Iris. I play the roles of Vincent and Cooper. I play four characters, three characters from 1916 who are um, Pub Joe, Finn, and the detective Wallace, and then one present day character, Murray the student. I played the roles of Mrs. Bassani and Lily. I was the composer and the arranger, and the play is written very cinematically. Uh, Eugenia deals with, um, with a person who was an outsider, someone who was on the outside. And uh, we, uh, we are interested in presenting theater that explores the human condition of all human beings, not just those that are on the inside. Everybody's different, and everybody has a different lifestyle, and if that's how they choose to live their lives, life, if that's who they love, then why should I or anybody else say that that's not okay? You know, um, oh, it's it's about acceptance. Everyone feels and experiences things in their own way, and that like that's okay. It was kind of like things don't really need, can't always be labeled. A lot of society would not be okay with a transgendered character being the center of a play. In fact, we had a few audience members leave because they were uncomfortable with the play during intermission throughout a couple of our performances. When I read the play, I was actually really shocked by it at first, um, and I thought it was really interesting. And it, it made me excited that we were doing it in New Paltz because I thought, I think New Paltz is a great place to do a play like that because there'll be a huge amount of people who will be accepting. Uh, well, uh, a lot of the controversies actually are brought up in the show itself, and uh, to the effect that uh, in the modern timeline, they are doing a play about uh, Jack Martelli, aka Eugenia, and uh, just the discussions of whether or not he or she was right, or even whether or not uh, to call Eugenia by he or she. Just like in the story of Eugenia, how the board did not want the play to go on because it was controversial, and just how we have books being banned from school and things like that and I think that it's really important for the arts and for theater any type of you know creative outlet to keep going and to keep pushing these boundaries. I think my favorite part of this process and I guess the play too is that it speaks so true to who we are today and where we are in our lives as college students and just figuring out who we are and and where we're going with our lives and I really think that right now in our lives, we're fighting for independence and we're fighting to be an individual and to discover who that is. I find that like sexuality has become something, especially since I'm in school, that like everyone has questions about and everyone like wants to explore and people like are confused about. And um, I really liked how the play addressed those issues because there are things that like people need to realize like, is okay to talk about. I think it's important that people accept transgendered individuals because they live around us where, you know, we work with them, we live with them, and they're decent people, they're just like you and me, and they're, uh, we have to accept and live with people of all different, like, races, creeds, orientation. We're here to open people's minds up. Not to, um, not to persuade them, but at least to give them the opportunity to see that, uh, that the world is a very big and complicated place. I am very lucky to have been a part of this because I don't think it would have ever crossed my mind any of these topics. To me, like, transgender is just like a normal thing, but I know that a lot of people are uncomfortable with it at this point. And it's good to know different views on the subject. Basically, I think the play itself, despite whether you're a woman or transgender, you could be a straight white guy or a transgender Asian man and still get a message from this play that it's okay to be yourself, you should live to be yourself despite what anyone else thinks.